this month we are talking about math and helping your children develop readiness skills in the area of math. When I do this in person, I sometimes get groans when I say that, but don't worry, it won't be too bad. Um, math is interesting. <laughs> it develops differently than some other areas of development and learning. So for example, a skill like reading is sequential, it's linear. You learn one skill, you move on to the next, to the next, to the next. Uh, the same with gross motor skills. Children first learn to roll over, and then they learn to crawl, and then they learn to pull up to stand, then they learn to stand, then they learn to walk, run, and so on. Math is a different kind of a skill in the way it develops for children. It's more like a jigsaw puzzle, so there's lots of different concepts, but they don't develop in a step-by-step -step fashion. They develop at different times for different kids and in different ways. But when you put it all together, it makes a complete picture. So we're going to talk in this segment all about the different kinds of jigsaw pieces we need to help children develop math. One thing that's really important when they look at how, what we can do for young children, four and five year olds, to help them later on with math, um, is something that they found out by kind of going backwards. They looked at third graders and seventh graders and how they did in math, and then they looked at what those kids had and were doing well with uh, in, when they were preschoolers. And it's something called number sense. So number sense is kind of an intuitive thing. It's like as a grown up, when you go to the grocery store and you're trying to figure out what line to get in, you look at all the aisles, you have to size up how many people are in each line, how many things are in each cart, how fast is the line moving. If you're really good at number sense, you will get into the right line and it will move quickly because you'll be able to kind of quickly make that judgment. Um, and that's a skill that some people just are better at naturally, but we can teach it to everyone. And we're gonna talk about how we can teach it to young kids uh, now getting ready for kindergarten. And did you know that that skill, number sense, is more important for how children do in math than their IQ or their attention span? It's more predictive, so we're gonna work on that. So number sense is tricky, math is tricky. Most things are just a thing. This is a jar of jelly beans. This is a picture frame. This is a book. When you think about numbers, they're not just a thing. They're a concept. This is three. This is three. We have three. And we have three. Whoops, we did. <laughs> three. Uh, so it's not a concrete label. It's more of a conceptual label. And for young kids, that can be difficult. Uh, because they're very concrete thinkers. So we're gonna help them learn how to think in terms of the concepts of math. The other part of um, number sense is that part to whole relationship. So you can break something down. So three is three, or it's one and two, or it's two and one, or it's one and one and one. All of that makes three. Magnitude is another thing that's important in math. So for children to understand that three is bigger than two, but three is smaller than four, and three is a lot smaller than 300. Um, it's something that kids struggle with. So one way you can kind of tell if kids are getting that is through a skill called estimation. So this is a very similar jar to what I often bring to kindergarten club and I keep it on my desk at the beginning when they're signing in with their names. And I very often ask children, estimate, that kind of means guess, how many do you think are in this jar? I cannot tell you how many children have told me one. <laughs> and when I hear that, I think, Maybe they don't quite have that number sense concept yet. And then I'll say, maybe it's a little more than one. And some kids will say two so or three. Um, so it's a really, really hard skill for children to develop. Uh, and that is something that we are going to work on. And we will have strategies for our different components of number sense. But I want you to know that we're thinking about building their concepts and the way they think about math. It's much more than 
counting and identifying numbers, which is what most everybody thinks about when they think of math at this age. And we're gonna be on it with some tips.